In the 70s, Olmi finally gave up life in Milan and moved with his wife and two children to Asiago in the Dolomite foothills. Its first attraction was as a film location, but its connections with his childhood memories soon made themselves evident. It was in Asiago that Olmi unearthed the notes he'd made years before of his grandmother's stories, and there he wrote them into a script for the Tree of Wooden Clogs. I was fascinated by this alto piano, this high plateau with so many traces of that disappearing world which I loved so much. It wasn't surprising that I soon began to feel more at home there than in the district where I lived in Milan. It came quite naturally that I moved there. No stratagem was needed. I don't want to seem as if I'm exaggerating my enthusiasm for the peasant world, but the fact remains that people knew one another, and that meant that they knew how to live together. These were the things that I was missing. In going to live there, one isn't withdrawing from life. One is keeping to the side streets rather than the main squares of history. And I suspect that sometimes one learns more in these side streets, only seeing perhaps what is going on in the main squares by peeping through cracks without standing in the middle of all that noise and confusion. The peasant world which I was reproducing in my film and which still shows its traces in Asiago was concerned with one and perhaps only one thing in particular and that was a relationship with the land. It was a relationship which simply consisted of asking the land to give what was needed for living. Unfortunately, history has been written on the evidence left by one part of society. There is another side to history which is much more subdued and making far less clamour. This is something which one Italian poet, Zanzotti, has called the whisper of the generations. This is a way of telling history outside the official channels. By listening to this whisper of the generations, it permits us to look at our own history in a broader sense from what we read in school books to appreciate it as the history of human experience. La cultura è l'umanità in cammino. Culture is humanity moving forwards. E quanta cultura? How much culture is to be found in that whisper of the generations? How few intellectuals know how to listen to it? <laughs> 